Man, that stinks. So how do you deal with disappointment or a missed opportunity, specifically as an entrepreneur? Uh, there's really a three-step process I like going with. So first, I'm gonna share a personal story with you. And that was a couple days ago. I had the opportunity to interview for a large contract for my digital marketing agency for a business for an e-commerce business and I incorrectly calculated the time difference between us so I showed up an hour late to you know the interview or the pitch if you will and of course I I didn't get it and uh, we we lost out on a potentially really big client because I miscalculated the time zone differences and so that was something that was really disappointing it weighed heavily on me for quite a while and sometimes sometimes those types of things happen where you're in control and sometimes things happen to it just kind of feels like you got punched in the gut and you know you feel like you really made an effort to be successful you really made an effort to do the right thing and for whatever reason it just doesn't seem to work out and you're left with this really sinking feeling you're like how do i how do i move on from that so in this video i want to share a kind of three step process i go through to keep the momentum and energy going and not allow those kinds of disappointments you know internal or external to drag you down and hold you back from what you really want to do so the first step is asking this really simple question i'm disappointed because and when you do that, you can easily zero in and solidify on what the core problem is. There are a lot of emotions that can come out of disappointment. And one of the things we want to do is we really want to dig down and find where's that little core, where's that little seed that sprouted all these emotions that we're feeling. And then once we have that, then we can really focus on and dive into the next question, which is, did I make a mistake? And this is, this is part of living with radical responsibility. And one of the books I'm currently reading, uh, How to Not Give an F, has really helped me grow and understand in this particular instance where not everything that happens to you is your fault, right? It's not always our fault, but it is our responsibility. So we look at it and we say, okay, is there something that we did to cause this to happen? So for instance, if I show up, if I showed up on time to the meeting and somebody else, they miscalculated the time wrong, they show up an hour later when I'm already off with another client, well, then I can take, I can look at it and say, okay, it's not my fault they didn't show up on time, right? But in this particular instance, it was my fault. So then I can go to the next question, which is, what can I do to prevent this from happening, making that mistake again in the future? This is how you learn from disappointment. This is how you learn from failures. Now, if, it, if you look at it and say, okay, it was actually the other person, they didn't show up on time, then in that instance, it wasn't your fault. So it's now your responsibility to say, okay, what can I do in the future to ensure that I don't feel this, that I don't go through this disappointing experience again? And so whether you made, a, if you made a mistake, you say, okay, what mistake did I make? What can I do not to do it in the future? If you didn't make a mistake and it was an external source acting on you, then you can look and say, okay, how can I preempt that kind of action being taken on me in the future. So you're either looking inwards and saying, what can I fix so I don't make a mistake again? Or, and this is, we're on step two here, or you're looking outwards and saying, okay, if someone else makes a mistake or something else happens to me, how can I easily respond to that so I don't feel this way moving forward? And then finally, number three, is looking at what happened as a whole. So you're gonna look at the entire experience and say, where in where did things start going the way I didn't expect them to, right? And so you look for that point and you make a mental note of it, right? Or you can physically write it down so that in the future, when you see that milestone, if you will, because think of it as a story, there's, there's milestones along the way. And there was some milestone where the story started to shift away from the destination. The destination's here. You thought it was gonna go like this, it wound up going like that. So where was that pivotal moment where it, it may have just moved an inch, right? It may have just moved an inch, but you know, like when you, we're sending stuff to the moon, an inch just means miles and miles away, right? So it's really important that we look at, okay, where in that story did things tweak, go, go a little bit wrong and just totally destroy the trajectory? And then make a note of that. So in the future, when you see that happen again, 
you can be really preemptive and say, okay, either move your move your destination over here so you still hit it, hit hit where you want to go, or you correct the situation so you're still on track. But any either either way, you're catching it, so it ends where you think you want it to end, or the story or situation ends in a satisfactory way so you don't have disappointment and then that helps with keeping your energy up and you can keep going and keeping your momentum in building or working on whatever you're doing.